What's up everybody? For this guy mod video, I'm featuring Druid Essentials. So this mod adds a lot of new Druid themed content to the game, such as several new spells and the alteration tree that are all Druid themed, of course. So they range from damaging spells to utility spells. So there are a lot of really fun and cool spells that I'll showcase a little bit later. But to get most of these spells, you can find a few in the house and then the rest of them you can get in usually Forsworn areas in the game. All right. So the mod also adds a house located south of Windhelm. It's called the Druidic Homestead. It's a pretty simple house and I'll go into it in just a second. And then it also adds a new armor set, as see I have equipped right now, as well as a couple of new weapons, such as the mace that I have. So this mace is pretty cool because you can hit an animal with it and then it'll tame the animal, or you can hit an enemy with it and it'll deal poison damage. And to use most of the spells added by the mod, you need to have the Druid Armor equipped. And to get the Druid Armor, you just simply have to go inside the house here, go to the very top floor near the bed, and loot it. So, it's pretty easy to get. There's also a couple of spell tomes as well. So one thing to note about the mod is that a lot of the new armor pieces are pretty cool. They glow in the night, as well as the house has a lot of glowing things in the night. So, it's a pretty cool house. But it's a little tucked away up in the top, so it's a little bit of a pain to get to for the most part. But here is the main part of the house now. So like I said, there's a couple of spell books inside the house. And this little um, pulsing animation thing, that's because I'm wearing the full Druid armor. This staircase is a little steep and it's a little hard to navigate up. But this is the player portion of the mod. And this is where a uh, armor set will be. And, you know. Obviously, I have it equipped, so it's not showing. But that's the little home portion of it. It's pretty simple. It's not like a druid would have a very extravagant home. And then up in this little portion built on top of these tree limbs is a alchemy area. All right. So now it's pretty much time to demonstrate one of the spells. One of the spells is called Boulder Fall, or excuse me, Boulder Drop. So this makes it so they don't take any fall damage. So, that's just an example of one of the cool utility spells. Now let's go over a few more spells. So, let's go over my favorites. There's one spell which I liked a lot. It was the Wooden Decoy. So, this is a cool spell because when you cast it, and that's the boulder drop effect still on me. When you cast it, it makes kind of a, a wooden decoy of yourself that enemies will attack. Which I thought was pretty cool. Because I'm always a fan of utility mods. Because there's already a lot of damaging stuff in the game. Another cool thing is... A, another spell called Serpent Fang. So this is a spell that when cast summons a bow for you. Which is like kind of like built into your arm and it's really cool. I like it a lot. And then the arrows deal poison damage. So it's really cool. I like that. That spell. There's also a geyser spell which when you cast on the ground creates a geyser. I guess I need to cast it on an enemy, I guess, but... Here, let me um, create another wooden decoy. There we go. So this geyser will launch up enemies. See how the wooden decoy kind of got launched over there. So it's just a fun spell to use. There's a more really powerful version of the bow that you can summon called the Storm Bow. So this is pretty cool. So this will shoot five arrows. That's just from another mod. And it's really quick. And as you can see, it's pretty powerful. And it's kind of like a conjured bow, so as soon as you unequip it, it goes away. Let's see. Prowling Camouflage. This is a pretty cool spell. It's kind of like, um, what was it called? Chameleon and Oblivion. Very kind of invisible. And time is slowed down a lot, too, until you take an action, such as casting a spell or whatever. Right. 
And then, of course, just a couple of more utility-based spells. So a lot of these spells are pretty cool, and they're very useful. A lot of them are based around CC and animals and healing, of course, just like all the traits a druid would have. So a lot of the content added by this mod is in the form of spells. But overall, Druid Essentials is a pretty sweet mod. It's um, it's a little rough around the edges, but it is a very good mod for those that want to add more Druid spells to their arsenal. And, and you know, it does that in a good way. The home could be worked on just a tiny bit, maybe polished up a bit more, but overall it's a pretty nice outside area that's themed well for a druid and it's built into a tree. I would like it if maybe it was um, had larger trees around this main tree because it kind of looks out of place here. But anyways, that's it for the Sky Mod video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to endorse the mod if you like it and subscribe to my channel to see more Sky Mod videos like this one. See ya.